So back when the UTVs were first introduced to the market, we thought they were the greatest machines ever built. When Polaris came out with the 1000, in my opinion, is where suspension became a huge issue. The 1000 suspension was volumes of head of the 900 suspension. Now that we've got great suspension on the 1000, we're all trying to get better. We see the value of great suspension. Probably the best thing you could do for your current RZR or most of the machines built today is convert it to a dual rate spring system. What I have here is a 2.5 Walker Evans shock and the reason they call it a 2.5 is the diameter of the shock body and you see it has two springs like your current RZR or other machine has and you would think that meant dual rate spring. It does not. On a stock Razor 1000-1000 turbo, the top spring is totally collapsed, which they call a tender spring, which gives you no spring rate to ride on on that spring. When you hit a bump, the spring is already collapsed, forces you to be cushioned only on the big spring, which is a stiffer ride. As you can see here, there's been a lockout ring placed on this and the correct spring lengths and spring rates to leave an area here to compress before the big spring compresses. So what we're doing now by doing a dual rate spring system is on a small bump we only use the lighter spring which is a better ride for us in the cockpit. If we bottom that spring out and engage the heavier spring, to keep us from bottoming the car out since it's a jump or hard landing. I did a lot of research with the four or five companies that offer spring kits. I pretty much got the same answers from all of them, but I decided to go with Walker Evans because who knows a Walker Evans shock better than Walker Evans? Nobody, that's all they deal with. I found out that most companies don't make their own springs. Most springs are made by Eibach. You can buy a spring kit from Eibach, but they don't make shocks. So I don't feel at this point there's a whole lot of difference in springs because a quality of spring because Eibach makes all of them. First thing I did with Walker Evans is I got with Jason and Reed at Walker Evans and we did the dual rate spring kit, which is a new tender spring, a new lower spring, a new divider, and your lockout rings. What the lockout ring does is give you so much adjustability that you didn't have before. Um, it allows you to determine when the big spring engages at how big of a bump or impact, and that would be up to your own personal preference. After doing the spring kit, it was a really big improvement as you've seen in another video that we did about the spring kit. But I was just lacking that little bit that I wanted. So again, I contacted Walker Evans, I talked to Reed. Reed suggested that a performance valving be done to my shocks. He also talked to me about a shock that they're building that's relatively new that is a two inch shock with the larger shaft in it out of a 2.5 and a larger reservoir which would make that shock act more like a 2.5 but still be the same shock that was on your car. So I went ahead and went that route and Reed was right. My car rides great. Now when I'm in rough terrain before shook the car all over the place such as a washboard trail or whoops now the suspension soaks up all of the impact of that terrain and the body of the car stays level. So I'm feeling very little, but you can look out the side of the car and see that the suspension is working, which it didn't work before. Because it wasn't a dual rate spring system in the past, when you took an impact, the car body went down with the impact. Now the suspension comes up underneath the car. Reed was right on the money with this and, and it's a great idea he's had 
on this shock and his department. I don't know if it's all credited to him, but it's, it's something he brought up and I'm giving him the credit. It works great. We've got some video in slow motion. We'll show you how the suspension acts. We're gonna run a stock 1000. We'll run the turbo with the shocks that I got from Walker Evans. What an improvement. If you're looking to do this, I highly recommend you contact Jason or Reed Walker Evans and look into the shock that I'm telling you about. Again, it's a 2.0 shock Walker Evans with a 2.5 shaft and a larger reservoir. And the oil in that reservoir is what cools the shock and makes the shock work better longer. Check out the videos we're going to show you. I think you'll see what we're talking about and how this suspension works. It's a night and day improvement on my car. And remember to like and subscribe. And again, if you're going to do this, don't forget to check with Walker Evans. It's just like having a Ford car. If you want it worked on by somebody that knows it, in and out, you take it to Ford. There's a lot of good mechanics that work on a lot of stuff, but Ford people know Ford cars. Walker Evans knows Walker Evans shocks like nobody else. So this is a pass at about 40 miles an hour on really rough terrain. This is the same terrain in a stock 1000. And if you look at the suspension, it's not really going up and down and you're gonna see the seats inside the car shaking real bad and the body shaking real bad. And this because it doesn't have a dual rate spring system, this is stock suspension. So this is a slow motion video of the first pass that was on uh, the video previous to this. This is an RZR 1000 Turbo. And as you can see, the body of the car, the roof line of the car, the seats inside the car, the driver of the car is all level and stable, but the suspension is going up under the car, especially the driver's tire, and everything's being absorbed by the suspension and nothing is being absorbed inside the cab.